Hey guys, um, we are now live. We'll give you a minute to join talking about the uh, new Virginia majority uh, and waiting for Tram Nguyen to join me to talk about uh, the upcoming election, which is super important and to get uh, all you guys to help uh, people get registered to vote and to uh, make a plan, most importantly. So I'm just waiting for Tram to join. As some of you know, I, uh, I really am stupid about Instagram Live. <laughs> it's so ridiculous, but I'm, I'm waiting for a request. So uh, Tram, if you've tried and it didn't happen yet, wait, oh, there we go, accept. Might be Tram. Let's see. Okay. We have some fun people. To oh, there's Tram. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Tram Nguyen, uh, who is, uh, the, if I get this right, the co-executive director of New Virginia Majority. Is that right, Tram? Yep, that's right. Okay, great. Well, thanks for talking to us. Oh, my gosh. Thanks for having me. Every time I have an opportunity to talk about voting in our democracy, like, I just light up. It's my favorite thing to talk about. Yeah, well, one of mine, too. Um, and this is super, super important. So, so you know, um, why don't we start by you telling me and us a little about, about yourself, because you have a really impressive uh, background, and about, you know, you, with the work that you're doing and why it's so important right now. Oh, thanks for that question. It's, I mean, this democracy work is personal, right? Yeah. Um, so, you know, so the work that we do is we try to engage as many people, as many people of color, new Americans to mm -hmm. engage in our democracy, to register to vote, to vote as possible. And for me, in part, it's because I, I, I will never forget the day that I became a U.S. citizen. My family immigrated here from Vietnam in the 1980s as part of the second wave of boat people. And, you know, to be able to be a citizen, to raise my right hand and to be able to vote just sort of fulfills my parents' dreams, right, of, you know, what it means to be an American and to, to participate and to live in this great country. Um, so we've been, you know, for the last 12 years, knocking on doors, encouraging as many Virginians to register to vote as possible, to turn out to vote. We've registered nearly 300,000 new voters of color, knocked on wow. almost 4 million doors at this point. Um, and it's, it's making a difference. Yeah, well, so let's just talk real quickly. Why is it so, like, why, what's so important about this election in Virginia now, you know, for, for both Virginia and for the entire U.S.? You know, why is this particular one? And I know, you know, uh, I think early voting ends November 30, I mean, October 31st. So people got to get on it and make a plan. And we'll tell in a second how people can, what they can do. But I'm really, I'd love for you to talk about why people really need to care about this one. Yeah, we've got two weeks left um, and people need to care because there's so much at stake in this election, right? When we look across the country, our democracy is on the line and um, we are seeing efforts across the country to suppress the vote. And if it didn't mean so much, then they wouldn't be trying to take it away, right? And over the last two years, we've made such progress on not only voting rights, but on you know criminal justice reform, on protecting immigrant rights, on workers' rights. I mean, I've lost track of how many first in the South policies we've won in the last year. And I think this election is going to, to, to really indicate whether or not we can continue to make progress for the communities that we serve, or whether we're gonna you know, see what other states like Georgia and Arizona and Texas are, are facing, right? Which mm -hmm. is you know, turning the clock backwards. And, um, and it's just so important. And it's the, it's the election before next year's midterms. And I think it's just gonna send a message to the rest of the country in terms of right. what direction we want this country to move in. Yeah, this Virginia election really is gonna be a trendsetter, isn't it? I mean, if it, it, yeah. it's all about turnout, first of all. And I think that you know, people often are exhausted after the, you know, blood battles that are presidential elections. Literally, this last presidential election was that, um, tragically. Uh, but, you know, I, I just want to emphasize now is the time, as exhausted as people may still feel by it, now is the time to redouble our efforts. And, and you know, I mean, you talk about as an immigrant, how much you value your right to vote. And, and um, I think, you know, now is the time while people are trying to take it away in other states, we must demonstrate, you know, frankly, whatever your party affiliation is, whether you're moderate or progressive or even, you know, or conservative, 
uh, we all, those of us who believe in voting rights have to stand up now is the time because it's, there are a lot of people trying to take that right away from it, us and yeah. we cannot take it for granted. I know a lot of, you know, people both in my generation and in the millennial and, and Gen Z, you know, who get like, oh, well, you know, still get cynical and cynicism is the enemy. And um, I think we need to, I'm sure everybody on this, you know, Instagram live is, is you know, we're preaching to the choir, but um, I know you all have friends and family who need to hear this message over and over again. And I think it's all about making sure they have a plan. So if you're from Virginia, a thousand percent get it done. And if you're not, you know, I bet you have family and friends who live there and um, are active on social media. And we just need to beat the drum because we cannot sit back on our laurels and just assume it's going to be okay right. because it is not, right? Yeah, we absolutely cannot sit on our laurels. I mean, if you think about it, like our democracy and people talk about election integrity all the time. And for me, election integrity is when all citizens can actually participate. That means that we have a truly reflective democracy and a truly reflective government, right? Um, and so, yeah, we have to, like what if, we are preaching to the choir a lot of times. I feel that way too. But like mm -hmm. you said, you've got friends and family members who may not think that it matters and it absolutely matters. And so many decisions happen at the local and state level too, that in these non-sexy, non-presidential years, yeah. we actually need you to turn out to vote um, even more because you know the decisions that are being made are so critical. Yeah, and, and if you look at, um, you know, uh, again, I, I think it's a mistake to get too partisan here because this really shouldn't be a right. partisan issue. But, you know, there are, uh, there is, a, 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 you know, a very strong majority in favor of the Build Back Better thing and are very concerned about climate change and really doing something about it and maintaining, you know, our voter integrity laws and not, you know, changing the laws so that people cannot vote, which is happening. So the majority of Americans you know, the vast majority support these things. But that's why we got to, you know, we have to take responsibility for making sure it happens. And then, you know, again, this is going to be a trendsetter for 2022, when we have the midterm elections, and um, we really need to support all of the people that are really trying to make positive change. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, it's funny, because we go, we talk to millions of voters. Oh, I think, mm -hmm. I think our, our my service got a little crazy, but I, I think you're, to your point, right? Like we talk to all kinds of voters and the issues that come up all the time are voters that affect everybody, no matter whether you're Republican, Democrat, moderate, progressive, conservative, people right. are worried, right? Like there are lots of bread and butter issues and we can address all of those if we, if we come together. And that's what's really at stake um, is, is really this, the future of Virginia as a commonwealth and the future of, of this country. Of this country, yeah, it's really no joke. And, and we, we've seen demonstrated in some really frightening ways why, why that is so true. And things yeah. we've, you know, I know I grew up taking for granted. Uh, we've seen, uh, we can't. So, but you know, before we finish up, I just wanna, can you give people some action items? You know, like what can people do specifically uh, right now? Well, everybody's got at least five friends, right? <laughs> five friends, five family <laughs> members, somebody they know. Um, if they live in Virginia, then please encourage them to vote. Um, and if they need information, they can go to voteva.us. It's a one-stop shop and every information you need in terms of early voting, how to vote by mail, how to drop your ballot, find your look for polling place, all of that is available at voteva.us. And if you have time to spare, there's all kinds of volunteer opportunities. We have phone bankers from across the country that are calling Virginia voters and encouraging them to vote this cycle. So um, you can go to our website, New Virginia, www.newvirginiamajority.org. And there are tons of volunteer opportunities as well. But we just need to get the word out because um, there's it's a high stakes election and we need everybody to turn out to vote. Yeah, here, here. So let's everybody, let's get the word out. Um, if you can, if it affects you personally in Virginia, please, you know, step up as I'm sure you already are, but make some noise and let's keep telling the story. And, and those who aren't uh, this, you know, we, we still have a lot of work to do. And, um, you know, again, we can't take anything for granted. We really, really can't. So um, let's not. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. And thank you so much for, for have, having this conversation and trying to help us get the word out. Because all right, Tram. And thanks so much for all the work you do. You know, let's, let's keep our fingers crossed and roll up our sleeves. Yes. Yes. Let's do all it. Right, take care. 14 days. Thanks, yeah. 14 days. So thanks everybody for joining. Um, and let, let's get this done. Okay. Bye everybody.